Hi Gemini, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. If you're new here, I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance on the readings that I do here. My returning subscribers, I love and appreciate you all so, so much. Gemini, September 2022. I know I'm late, but it really doesn't matter in the tarot. You're doing it for the month. But I do apologize for being, well, 10 days late. 11 for some of you. Wow, Gemini, your cards are really, like, going together nicely. I think they're going to shuffle nicely, too. Oh, you know what? Really? I feel like the deck is telling me, like, be done. The moon, the sign of cancer, two of pentacles, strength, Four of Cups. You have two fours right underneath each other, and uh, that's security, stability. Two of Wands. Or making a decision, or someone else's. We'll see. Um, I got another four. Uh, four of Swords. That's your energy, Gemini. King of... Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Woman. bottom of the deck is uh, <laughs> the damn hangman. Like, I think some of you need to spend some time alone. Need to go with, the in, you know, listen to your intuition. Your intuition definitely could be speaking to you. I definitely... Wow, the high priestess is under this. Unbelievable. I'm so right about that. Your intuition is definitely speaking to you. And with the high priestess under this, I do feel like you do need time alone. Now, under this is the Six of Cups. And the Eight of Wands. Wow. Some of you could be waiting to reconnect with someone. Waiting. Or you're waiting on closure. Like there's some kind of message that comes through here. You could be you know, reaching out to someone from your past, especially over the first two weeks. 
you're making a decision or maybe you're realizing that because the hangman could be, you know, someone that is, is gaining perspective or seeing things from a different perspective. There's definitely enlightenment coming in for you. I mean, I definitely really see that. I see enlightenment um, really coming through for you, but definitely you're needing to you're definitely needing to listen to your intuition. You really are, Gemini. Like, don't don't forget that. Listen to your intuition. Your overall, overall energy, I didn't even take it. Huh. Is what? Wow, the Ace of Wands. So something new might be occurring to you. Like you might have this exciting new idea or an exciting new beginning that's coming into your life. This could be something that you're very passionate about. Others of you could be, it could be something very creative energy. I definitely see some of you really spending time alone, thinking about this creative or this passionate new beginning. Those of you that are married, coupled, this is a very exciting, passionate, especially the first two weeks of the month. You guys are getting this reading on it. I mean, you could be going through some of this now. You really could. <laughs> I mean, you know, over, especially if you're single, it's a passionate two weeks. You could be meeting someone new or someone new from the past coming back. And there definitely could be a very physical attraction, desire to be with someone. And you also have a fire sign energy here with the Queen of Wands. Aries Leo Sag. But you have strength. Here. Sign of Leo. So there could be there could be a fire sign. Or, you know. You men could have that in your chart, but you're starting out with the Four of Pentacles. You know, if you're meeting someone or someone from the past is coming back into your life. And there is this physical attraction with this person. If you want to, it to go anywhere, you're going to basically have to surrender. You know, with the Four of Pentacles and the Hangman, you're going to have to just let things happen because with the Four of Pentacles, you might want to control certain things. So you probably... You're going to have to let go and see things from a different perspective. That's what I'm getting here with the Four of Pentacles, the Hangman, and then the Moon. Surrender and see what happens. But also with the Moon, you don't know everything. And you have the High Priestess here. And she could be someone that has been on her own for a while. And that could be you. And then for others of you, this could be a woman that you're dealing with. 
and sometimes she could be obtainable. Very hard to get to. And then for others of you, you have the Four of Cups, which is interesting to me. It's emotionally being bored, waiting for yourself. It's also a lonesome energy, feeling lonely. And to hear with the moon, feeling lonely, emotionally wanting to get more. The two of wands, you know, you're, you're thinking about the future now. You hold on to the world in your hands. I feel like some of you that want, in, that want love in your life or you're wanting something to progress, again, I see strongly feeling fe that you feel you're going to have it but you're going to have to let go surrender see what happens especially those of you that have been on your own for a little while a little lonesome you know something is presented to you and some of you might like it but no, thank you. I'm not interested in that person. Or you want more. It's definitely someone that is not seeing the potential with the Two of Wands and the Four of Cups. Like, maybe you're not looking at everything close enough. But with the moon here... Something is hidden. Like, you definitely don't know everything yet. And that's why I feel like it's so important. I feel for you to just go with the flow. The Two of Wands is unlimited potential. And you're going to allow this Ace of Wands to grow if you want it. For the majority of you, this is love. And for exciting new adventure. And it could be a new job. Maybe you weren't happy within your current position or with the company that you work for. And... So it could be all about planning for the future here. I I just... I, it really could be something. But some of you are realizing that. I think, you, you know, you, you just have to be comfortable. With the Two of Pentacles strength and you need to be strong letting go and stepping out of your comfort zone and and this could be a reading <laughs> love as well as a job some of you have been single for a while and it's confronted but if you find love or if or 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 love or love that you want you want it to progress you really need to to just step out of your comfort zone if it works If you haven't been happy or really any 
situation where emotionally you want more, take a step back, look at the bigger picture. What I see is that your heart truly desires, especially for you women, the Queen of Wands is, is taking matters into your own hands. She's a manifester, a go-getter. She knows how to make shit happen. Very creative. But again, some of you four swords need to really spend some time alone. Go within, listen to your intuition and, and along with strength being very patient energy so definitely taking your time with this because again something is progressing but something also could be hit, hit, definitely hidden from you but take your time weighing your options keep looking forward because you do have options here you know, you could be a female that went through something and you're in a process of healing. It could be that you're taking a break from a relationship. Some of you could be taking a break from someone. There definitely could be a very strong attraction with someone new. With the high priestess, it could be another Woman, Six of Cups, reading, you know, if it didn't resonate, really, please watch your other signs. Gemini, for those of you that are very emotional, definitely you need to go off and relax. I really do feel for all you guys Spending time alone is absolutely needed and it will help you very much because I do feel like communication is coming in for you so strongly. I really do. Oh my God, where do I want to start? All right, the moon. The moon for Gemini. What are they waiting to receive? September 2022. Gemini. Come on. Okay. Gemini. The moon for Gemini. Okay. Awesome. Black card fell right out. Oh my God, the Six of Cups. It's definitely a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the deck here as I'm looking at this card. It's definitely a water sign. That you're thinking about, and I think it's them thinking about you. I really do. Um, I think I want to know what the Four of Swords is thinking about. That's you, Gemini. Four of Swords, what is Gemini thinking about? Okay, that flew out. Oh my god. Gemini, the wheel of fortune, karma, destiny, amazing things coming your way. Listen, this is the after tarot. It's what's going to come next in your life after you get out of this. I don't think it'll take long, really. I want to. I feel like four days, four weeks, four months. The, the, the after tarot 
It could take up to 10 months, 10 days, 10 weeks. Oh my God, oh, Gemini, I can't believe it. And you get the Six of Cups again. What is Gemini thinking about with the Two of Pentacles? Please show me. What is Gemini? Alright, that flipped up. Was that at the bottom of this deck? The Eight of Wands? Exciting communication? Yeah, you do. You have it twice. Alright, so this shit is happening now. It is. If it stopped in the past, it's coming back. I do strongly feel like it's a water sign. Or a Leo. Whatever you're thinking about wishing for, I really, I mean, the, 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 Flippin' star is under here. That's your wishes and dreams coming true. And I find that absolutely incredible. With the Wheel of Fortune, absolutely incredible. I hope it happens really sooner than 10 months. But it's the after tarot. And I know that's going to be for some of you. Please leave a comment if that does resonate for you. I think it's great. Whether it's love or career, I don't care. It's great. It's a beautiful reading. I love you, Gemini. Bye.